Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here a brand new windows emulator for android has just launched and this is supposed to provide you better performance than box 64 droid termux box as well as box 86 well the name of this emulator is mobox and it is from the same developer who created termux box emulator you will get better performance in this mobox windows emulator because it uses vulkan while emulating games which was not present with box 64 or even other emulators like winlater etc so this is definitely a huge update and as usual just like any other windows emulator will be using termux termux x11 and input bridge we'll have to copy and paste this code in termux mobox is a completely open source project and you can check it out on its developers github page if we just go down and scroll down you will be able to see that minimum requirement is android version 10 or above but most android devices can run mobox and directx 9 games using mesa virgil snapdragon device with adreno 6 series or adreno 725 to 740 is recommended for best performance compatibility with turnip plus dxvk so the developer has already provided us with all the information to get the best amount of fps possible let's start by setting up this emulator we'll just go ahead and open termux afterwards paste the code which the developer provided let's just go ahead and tap on enter after you paste this command you might get some prompts like this and it will take around 5 to 10 minutes for it to be completely set up so be patient just like termux box simulator you will have to wait until it's set up but while it's being done we'll just go ahead and open termux x11 then go to preferences by holding it and change the display resolution mode to exact choose the display resolution to 1280 by 720 or 800 by 600 the developer recommends you to go with 1280 by 720 so we'll just go with that make sure to enable stretch to fit also reset screen while soft keyboard is open afterwards make sure to enable full screen on device display once that has been done just go ahead and scroll down and make sure to disable the show additional keyboard option now let's head back to termux and you will be able to see that it is automatically updating box 64 as well as dxvk in my case it just took me around two minutes for the installation but now it will ask you to type more box to start using it so once you type more box press enter afterwards it will sync packages you will get a clean ui with options such as start wine settings manage packages etc uh, we can just go ahead and scroll down and check out the settings so you can just go ahead and go outside and now we'll start wine afterwards it will start configuring wine now this process again will take around two to four minutes so just be patient as you guys can see it is so useful that it already set up dxvk turnip driver etc based on your device but anyways there we go wine has successfully started and immediately you will be able to notice and dark theme with a fresh ui which i do prefer so as usual we can just go ahead and tap on the start button and immediately my first impressions are that this is super smooth the next step is going to be pretty simple that is to just go ahead and launch any game and start playing it you guys won't believe me but that's about it in terms of setting up mobox emulator on your android devices so this is definitely easiest windows emulator that i have ever configured it literally does every work for you but you will need to use input bridge beyond the on-screen touch controls well for today's video i'll be pairing my android device with my bluetooth keyboard so that we can easily control it one issue which i did notice is that the game is only opening in 800 by 600 resolution i guess so it's not opening full screen which might be an issue of resolution that you can easily change by going into game settings uh, other than that everything should be working so let me just go ahead and quickly connect my uh, bluetooth keyboard by the way you can also use bluetooth mouse bluetooth everything anyways let me just go ahead and tap on the enter button and immediately you will be able to see that our game has successfully started so this is the mobox simulator at the top left corner we'll get tons and tons of information such as the dxvk version the turnip driver and also the fps bar you'll be able to see and detailed performance graph which is pretty cool and as the simulator uses vulkan the performance which you will get will be fabulous that much i can guarantee you guys you can see that it uses vulkan by reading the vulkan version right here so vulkan 1.3 point something uh, that's how you guys know that Vulkan is being properly utilized in Mobox Simulator. There we go guys, the game has successfully started. So I'll just go ahead and press my keyboard and immediately you'll be able to see that this is a pretty seamless experience but i do see some graphical issues here and there uh, so there are some flickering issues so i even managed to go ahead and set up input bridge on my android device and it was pretty easy if you have the profiles then you can easily try it out but as you see right here there is no lag whatsoever even though my cpu usage is reaching around uh, 70 percent i am getting stable 30 to 40 fps which is 
100% playable experience. Let's hit 300 likes on today's video and I'll be testing out GTA 4 on the Mobox simulator. So guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out the future videos. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.